In this video, I'm going to be introducing to you ancient designs for your pinch pot. So the first thing we're going to do for this assignment is log on to Canvas and go to the Ceramics One homepage. From there, you're going to click on Assignments and you're gonna find 915 Ancient Design Plan. Click on it. The directions say click here to make a copy of the Ancient Design Planning Worksheet. Directions, one of your pinch pots will include an ancient cultural design that will be incised or carved into your piece. You will use the worksheet to research and plan for a design that you would like to use for your project. Please read the directions that are on the worksheet to complete this assignment. When finished, submit the worksheet to this assignment. Don't forget to change the share settings to anyone with the link and commenter. So let's go ahead and start off by clicking here to make a copy of the assignment. And then it'll prompt you to make a copy. Go ahead and make a copy. Once the worksheet opens up, the first thing I want you to do is change the title. It's going to come up as copy of C and we want to get rid of copy of C and just call it ancient design planning pinch pot. This way you'll be able to find it easier if you need to go back into your drive to find it later. I also want you to go over to the share settings and we'll just change them right now so it's ready to be turned in. You're going to change down here where it says restricted to anyone with the link and over here where it says viewer we'll change that to commenter so I can leave you comments on your drawings and we'll click done. Now the way the worksheet is set up uh, in Google Slides it may be difficult to see um, so if everyone could go to view and then zoom we'll change that to 200 percent and that's going to bring this up a lot easier for you to see and easier to work on. Um, so for the worksheet, let's start by putting our name and class code. So we'll just kind of pretend like this is period 1C. Um, you'll put in your specific class code for your class. Um, the directions state, one of your pinch pots will include an ancient cultural design that will be incised, and that just means to carve into your piece. You will use this space to research and plan for a design that you would like to use for your project. One, search for images on the web. Try searching ancient symbols, ancient designs, cultural designs, etc. You can also narrow it down to specific cultures. Two, find three symbols or designs that you like to use as a reference for your plan, that you would like to use for a reference for your plan. Three, copy and paste the images you find in the boxes below. Here's resource one, resource two, resource three. You will be using these images as inspiration for a design of your own making. Using your resources as a guide, you will then draw out two different symbols or designs that you would like to see on your pinch pot. We'll draw these on a separate piece of paper, take a picture of them, and then insert them in the boxes at the bottom of this slide or in the boxes to the right, so on this other handout here, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Ultimately, your design should be an original one. You can take ideas from your resources, but your design should be of your own creation. So let's talk about how we can get to our design. So I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to leave this worksheet open and I'm going to open up a new tab in Google. And from the Google search, I'm going to search for ancient symbols, cultural designs. If I want to get specific to a specific type of culture, um, I can do that as well. So let's just start off and see what happens if I type in ancient symbols. Okay, so I want to go into images. We want to focus on images for this assignment. Now, a lot of things are going to come up when we look at ancient symbols. And up in the top here, we can really even narrow these down to different types of things. I just want you to be careful of something. So for the most part, most of these ancient symbols are going to be perfectly fine to use on our pinch pots. We should probably be thinking about choosing some things that are more simple instead of things that have a whole lot of detail 
detail. A lot of detail will be difficult because our pinch pots are so small. So kind of try to find something that's more simple. But also remember that there are symbols from the past that um, maybe would not be um, appropriate for school. So keep that in mind. If it's any sort of a symbol that promotes hate, um, those types of symbols are not welcome on our project. So if you're not sure if it's questionable, it's best to just pick something different. Now, there's a few things that I'm seeing as I'm talking to you that I'm liking, and I can narrow some of these down. I'm going to click on this one over here. This is going to give me a lot of different types of images here, different types of symbols. Um, so some of these have a lot of things in one image, okay? So um, if I were to go to one of these stock images, I'm going to want to narrow it down to maybe just one of them. So I'm going to start off here by copying the image. So I just right click, copy image. I'm going to go back into my ancient design planning and I want to paste it. So I'm going to copy, or I'm sorry, I'm going to right click and paste or control V and paste my image. Now, because there's so many symbols in here, I really want to narrow this down to just one at a time. So there might be multiple things that I like within this image, but I just want to do one at a time. So what we're going to need to make use of is the crop tool. So the crop tool is up here in your toolbar. You're going to click crop image, and then you're going to get these new black marks that happen in the corners and on the sides. Wherever you see the black mark, that's for cropping. So let's say I like this symbol that's kind of right here in the center. I'm going to pull from those black marks to crop everything else out. Now you've got to be careful because what could happen as you're trying to crop, if you accidentally click on the blue mark, it's going to it's going to stretch your image. So if that happens, stop and hit the undo button and then make sure you're grabbing from the black bar and not the blue bar. All right, once I have everything else cropped away, I'm going to click outside of the box to crop that out. And then I'm going to pull this over and I'm going to put this as resource one. And I want to try to fill this box um, as much as possible. So like grabbing from the side, I'll be able to fill this box to make my image bigger. Now this image is kind of blurry because of the way I had to enlarge it. But as long as I'm able to see the lines and shapes, I'm not going to just copy this symbol. I'm going to use parts of it. All right, so now I have my one resource. I need to find two more. So maybe I want to narrow this down and I want to change it from ancient symbols to African symbols. Okay, so within African symbols, I'm going to get some different things. It's going to narrow it down to just one specific culture. Um, so let's see, I like... Um, I kind of like some of the things I'm seeing in here. So I'm going to grab this image here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the image and paste it in. I'm going to have to do some more cropping, but I really like this symbol that's here in the middle. So I'm going to crop everything else out but this symbol in the middle. So again, I'm going to go up here to the crop image tool and I'm going to crop away everything up to this symbol. Now remember, we got to find those black marks to bring over. I can scroll down a little bit so I can see this better. Okay. And then again, I'm going to click off to the side. Now this time my image is a little bit too big. So grabbing it from the corner, I want to make it smaller so that it's going to fit in as resource number two. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do one more image search. Maybe for this one I want to do some Celtic symbols. So let's see what comes up with Celtic symbols. Okay, so I'm kind of like in the swirl here. Um, in Celtic heritage, there's a lot of like knots um, that I'm kind of like in some of these. So let's just say I like this image right here. And this one's just an image by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go back into my handout and I'm going to paste. Now this one, because um, it's just by itself, I don't need to crop, but I will need to resize. So it's way too big. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this smaller so that it fits nicely in the box. Okay. So here I have my three symbols. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be using these three symbols as a resource to help me come up with 
two different plans that I want to use for my pinch pop. Now I'm going to have two different um, ways of going about this. If I want just a free form symbol, just like these are just kind of by themselves, where I would just carve one symbol into my pinch pot, I'm going to use any of these squared boxes here to put my design in. However, there's going to be another option um, that you might want to consider, and that would be um, a band that would go around maybe the rim of your pinch pot. And for a band, you're going to need a longer box to put your design in. So I've added in some longer rectangular boxes over here. These are just optional. You don't have to draw a band. Um, so it's going to be kind of up to you. So you could either, maybe you do two, you could either do two just regular designs. You could do two bands. You could do a regular design and a band. Um, you could do more than two, but two is going to be the requirement. Okay, so we'll be choosing our best out of the two. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch now to some pencil and paper and show you how to use your resources to guide you in your design. Okay, so there are a few things that we want to consider before we start our drawings. Um, and in order to consider these things, it's going to be a good idea to have your pinch pot nearby. So I have my pinch pot right here. Um, for this assignment, you're going to choose one of the two pinch pots that you've made to carve into. The other pinch pot, we're going to attach something to the side and we'll learn how to glaze with that one. So whichever pinch pot you choose, you want to consider it as you plan your design. So you want to think about the shape of it, how tall it is, how wide it is, um, even what the foot looks like. We want everything to work together. We don't want to plan a drawing or a design that's too big for our pinch pot because then that'll look strange. It'll feel unfinished. It'll feel um, like you didn't put the time to make it right. Um, so that's the first thing. And um, the second thing is if we had too much detail to these, um, that's going to take away from the form of our pinch pot. Okay, so some things to consider, the size of our design and how much detail we put into them. Okay, so since this is the pinch pot that I've chosen, I'm going to start off by showing you how to come up with a design from your three resources. So on the screen, you can see my pinch pot, you can see my handout with my resources, um, and I'm going to draw for you here on my piece of paper. So the first thing that I want to do on my scratch piece of paper is I want to think about if I were going to just do one carving of a symbol, I want to come up with just a one symbol, not a band that goes around, more of like a badge, let's say, that would be on the front. Um, I want to think about how big that would need to be. Okay, so I'm going to maybe just start by sizing, giving myself a box about the size that I think I want my design to be. And this might change um, as I start coming up with ideas, um, but at least I'll get an idea of the height of mine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this off to the side. And just a reminder that anytime your clay is sitting out, it's drying. And we don't want these to dry completely. So I would recommend that if you are not using your pinch pot, it should be wrapped in your bag. So I'm going to just put mine back in its bag, make sure the bag's sealed. But I'm going to keep it nearby in case I need to look at it to adjust my design. Okay, so... For my design, any aspect of my design that I include here in my sketch needs to come from the resources from my worksheet. So I picked those three symbols, okay, a little bit ago, and now I'm going to use some of the elements from each to create my own design. So um, I'm going to start with like a base shape, basic shape, just the place to get started. So I'm noticing in the center of this one over here, um, my first resource, it's kind of like a diamond shape. So I'm liking the way that that looks. And I'm thinking that I'm going to create start off by creating a diamond shape within my space here where I can draw. Okay. Now I'm giving myself some guidelines just to help me try to keep my diamond shape symmetrical. Um, you can 
use tools like this to help you. You could use a ruler to help you. You could use a compass to help you draw straight, um, sorry, to draw a circle or a ruler to help you draw straight lines. But you also don't have to. Okay, so I'm starting with that basic shape. It's smaller than it needs to be because in my mind, I'm thinking that this shape that I just drew isn't going to be necessarily the outside of my symbol, um, but it's just a place where I wanted to start. Okay, so I'm going to erase these inside lines because they don't really have anything to do with my drawing. Okay, so now I might take some shapes from some of my other resources. So um, I have another symbol over here, and I really like the swirl that's going on there. So maybe within my diamond shape, um, maybe I start with a swirl, and maybe the swirl is going to fit kind of in the bottom of this rounded diamond. So maybe it's going to kind of be contained within it, but maybe it'll then come down and come out, outside. So um, I'm also kind of playing off of my second resource here. It has these really sharp, curved angles. So I'm thinking maybe I want my curve, my swirl, to end in some sharp corners. So I'm going to go back in here, make this a little bit thicker. Um, something else to keep in mind as you're coming up with your design is the thickness of your lines. You should have some spaces that are bigger, some spaces that are smaller. Um, and you'll you'll see it when I get done with mine, I'm going to shade in the areas that are going to be carved away. But we want to make sure that the areas that are be carved that are going to be carved away are not just outlines, because we're not going to just outline, but we're actually going to be removing clay to make these designs pop out. Okay, so right now my design, it's a start, but it's definitely not done. So I need to come up with some more ways of using these resources to, to get a finished design. Um, so also in my second resource over here, this black and green one, has these curved lines um, that go around the outside. So I kind of like that. Maybe I feel like I can incorporate those curved lines within this part here, so I can add some curved lines in. Okay, so we're kind of getting somewhere now. Um, I also really like in this resource number one, how it looks like eyelashes kind of coming off of that diamond shape that I started with. So I think I'm gonna add some shapes like that in for my design. But I don't think I'm going to add all of them in. Um, I kind of want these line or these shapes that I'm adding in here to balance out what I'm doing on this side. So I'm thinking I'm going to add in three of them at different heights. And you can notice that I'm still within that box that I drew. So my 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 design will not be too big. Okay. All right, so it's starting to feel a little bit more complete. I think I'm gonna add in just a few more small details. Um, there's a little triangle within my third resource. I kind of like that. So maybe I'm gonna add in a little triangle here. And there's a circle within the middle of this first resource. So maybe I'll balance that triangle with a circle over here. Starting to kind of look like a fish and I kind of like that because I like to fish. So I think I'm done at this point. I'm liking my design. I can always go back in and add more later um, or maybe I talk to my teacher and she gives me some suggestions. But the next thing that I want to think about within my design is which areas am I going to carve away? Which areas do I want to remove? So I kind of like the idea of this swirl right here standing out and not being carved away. So I'm going to carve away the opposite. So whatever I'm carving away, whatever is going to not be standing out, I'm going to shade this in. It doesn't have to be shaded in perfectly, but just enough so that you can tell which areas need to be removed. Okay, so basically like every other shape is going to be removed. Okay. Um, so let's see, within here, I'll be removing inside of these swirls also. 
or these curved lines that I created. And inside of my triangle, and I like how these are opposites here. That's balancing nicely. Kind of happy about that. Um, all of the other areas are going to stand out. Um, this line here is going to be outlined. So we can have some outlining. We just can't do everything outlined. I don't like that. That's going to go away. So this could be one of my designs. Okay. Um, at this point, the next thing to do would be to take a picture. Okay. So I'll take a picture here in a few minutes and I'll show you how to get your picture into your worksheet over here. Before I do that, some of you may decide that you want to draw a band on your um, pinch pot. If you want to do a band, it's going to go the same way, except for you're going to want to draw it out longer. So I'm just going to sketch a box that I can create a pattern within. So within this box, you're still going to use the resources from over here to create your own pattern. So I'm just going to do this quickly so you can kind of get the gist, but um, I'm going to maybe draw in some of these diamond shapes that were in my first resource. In my first resource, I'm going to connect them together to create a pattern. Okay, so that might be my first step, and then I'll continue this all the way through here. Maybe I do a circle inside this one, a triangle inside this one, a circle, so on and so forth. Or maybe I do a swirl inside of this one or inside every other one and I create some sort of a pattern going across this way okay so you're gonna come up with two different design ideas they can either be two that are something along this line two that are bands or one of each so I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna pick back up and show you how to get your picture into your slideshow all right, so I'm back into my worksheet. I have it enlarged so I can see it. Um, the next step is to add in your drawings to um, the required areas. So if you just did the badge, both badges, you could put them right here on this first handout. If you did more than two, you can add them in over here on the second handout. If you drew any bands, please put them on the right hand side where it'll fit better. So inserting your own picture into a Google slide, um, you're gonna go up to the pictures button up here. Um, I have my picture saved in my Google Drive, and if that's something you need help with, I, you can come see me and I can show you how to do that. Um, but you might have your picture saved on your computer um, or in your photos or somewhere else, um, but I have mine in the drive, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to have my picture here, so I'm going to double click to insert that into my slide. Now you're going to see a couple things as my picture comes up. Number one, it's really, really big, so that tells me that I'm going to have to crop the image like I did when I was finding my resources. Um, number two, um, there's a lot of extra empty space that we don't need, okay? So cropping and resizing are going to help us get rid of some unwanted information so we can just focus on the design that we drew. So I'm going to start by cropping, so I'm going to go up here to the crop image tool. And again, remember to grab by the black bars. And I'm going to crop this down to about the box that I created my design with it. And again, remember to grab it by the black handles there. Even though I have my band that I drew there, it's not part of this design. I'm going to crop that out. And then I could take a separate picture or I can reinsert the same picture, but then crop out different um, parts of it. So if you draw all on one piece of paper, you'll just crop things out as you add them in. Okay, so and then I'm going to click off to the side um, after I'm done cropping. So this is still too big, so now I need to resize. And whenever we resize, it's a good idea to grab from the corner. It'll keep your um, image in proportion. So I'm just going to crop this down until it's going to fit nicely over one of these boxes. And it doesn't have to be a perfect square, um, just so long as your teacher will be able to see it. After you've inserted your two 
drawing. So your two designs within this um, slideshow, you're ready to submit. So um, when we submit, just a reminder, you'll go back up to the share um, setting at the top. Um, and at this point, we've already changed anyone on the internet with this link can comment. So we don't need to do that again. I'm just going to copy the link. And then I'm going to go into my Canvas Ceramics One homepage. And I'm going to go into Assignments. And I'll look for 915 Ancient Design Plan. And then within here is where you will um, submit your assignment. Mine looks a little bit different from the teacher view. You'll have a submit assignment button at the top, and then you'll submit that URL. Once that has been submitted, so once you've submitted that worksheet, you're going to go see your teacher. And your teacher is going to look at your designs. So your teacher will get... Um, a copy of this with your resources here. We'll get to see everything that you have right here on your slide and we'll be able to talk to you about it and offer you some comments and some suggestions. And once your design has been okayed, then you'll be ready to start carving. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll show you how to carve. Thanks.